Here we go, y'all. What the business is, I'm back with another one. Yeah, we're going to be talking about the real. Uh, it's your boy, 007 Crescendo. You already know what the business is. We in this bitch. Uh, it's a bunch of things we got to talk about before we get to the real. But just want to say, man, it's been a journey. This music shit. Uh, this podcast. Crescendo Productions, YPM TV, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting all that done. I'm getting everything out the way. But I decided to take a little break again. And I won't be back till November 11th. You know what I'm saying? I know people are going to be like, so why are you still posting? And why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? That's because even while I'm on break, I'm still working, nigga. I'm like y'all spoiled ass, some spoiled ass middle class people. They they ain't doing nothing while at work, nigga. So we definitely not the same bitch ass nigga. You know what I mean? But let's go ahead and speak on a few things, right? I got a big announcement. A big announcement. <clears throat> I am proud to say that Crescendo Productions have our first merch. Available on Amazon. It is a pullover hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go check that out. It is in the links everywhere on my accounts. I posted about it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go check it out right now. It's on my websites everywhere. Uh, I tried to use Shopify, but they want a fee. And then, uh, then that's, that's a catch, too, because the other type of Amazon thing you got to pay a fee again, so that's two fees in order to get on Shopify, you know what I'm saying? I always got to pay fees and shit, so fuck that, you know what I'm saying? I can't afford it right now. Yeah, uh, I'm trying new artwork, too, for this podcast. Y'all going to love it. It's going to be changing up every episode, you know what I'm saying? Just giving y'all the real, um, what else before I get started? Uh, I'm not going to speak on the presidential election because I've seen, I've, I've seen too many adults, too many adults acting like little spoiled brats. So we're going to leave that in the trash can where they belong, right? And Hollywood people. I've seen so many Hollywood ass, lame ass, broke ass motherfuckers acting like they control the narrative. My boy, the handler told you to say that shit, man. <laughs> the handler's up in there beating y'all ass and you're trying to take it out on the people. Boy, these people will smoke y'all ass, bro. I don't know how many times we got to tell y'all this shit. Ain't no Hollywood person or celebrity controls anything, bro. Y'all all handle it. And if you try to take the anger out on the people, they going to smoke your ass. They going to beat your ass. Because they can't rob y'all. Y'all broke as a motherfucker. So I don't know what the hell y'all talking about. But, uh, yeah, we're going to speak on a couple things that has to do with the real on many different levels. Um, such as middle class problems. I'm going to go ahead and get this out the way. There is a bunch of middle, well, I ain't going to say bunch. There is a class of middle class people who just want to put all their problems on all the broke people. And I'm going to show you how this, I'm going to show you how fucked up they are. They want to put all their problems on the poor class while ignoring the rich class. And I'm going to tell you why they ignoring the rich class. They're ignoring the rich class because they thought they were rich. Come to find out, no, you're not. And then the rich class not even worry about the middle class or the poor class. You know what I'm saying? But it's getting to a point where the rich class is actually looking at the poor class and might start considering working with them. So, ha, 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 ha. It might be a reverse of tables. You might see more poor class people working with rich people while the middle class people are strung out on drugs, losing their connections, and getting poor. You know what I'm saying? So don't be surprised 
if those poor people that y'all mocked start getting big connections and big product deals with rich billionaires. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, only the middle class are the ones sitting there trying to make it seem like the billionaires are the problem. And they're evil as hell. No, last time I checked, I don't see any billionaire trying to put their problems on anybody else. You know what I'm saying? That's only a middle class tactic. I don't see billionaires doing temper, temper what we call temp, uh, temp, temper tantrums when they lose something or when something doesn't go their way. That's a middle class thing. And I also don't see billionaires sitting there trying to overwork everybody while they sitting on their damn motherfucking ass. Because most billionaires became billionaires by their own product, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You can look at all they ass. It's only a few billionaires who got rich off other people, and they're not even that rich. Those are the billionaires that's worth less than ten billion. I'm talking about the more than ten billion billionaires. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's just the real. They can get mad. They can cry. They can throw a temper, temper tantrum like they've been doing. But guess what? First of all, we'll beat the fuck out of y'all ass to death so y'all don't know what the hell you sitting there playing for. Second of all, y'all not even the best in the world, man. People around the world is looking at the hard workers and they're like either they're poor or they are billionaires. You know what I'm saying? They're not saying, oh, the middle class will outwork everybody. Nobody ever said that. That ain't no time or error. It don't matter when or who said whatever, nigga. Y'all ass suck. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the real. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what the fuck they say. Boy, ain't nobody playing with y'all. But you know the real ain't gonna ever change. The real is always gonna remain the same. No matter how many people get mad. No matter how many people try to force it. No matter how many times they try to change the narrative. No matter how many times they try to change the trends. And it's so perfect that if you just really look at all the trends, it's been nothing but lame-ass trends. And then it dies. You know what I'm saying? And that's funny. That's like super hilarious. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, we going in. They can't do shit. They not finna do shit. And you shut the fuck up for we all just start popping their ass. And I ain't talking about fucking. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's talk about abortion right quick. I'm going to speak on the real on the abortion. No matter how many bitches and lame ass people try to get mad. First of all, ain't nobody got time for you and your fake ass abortion stories. And I'm speaking from people who had botched abortion. So if they want to be like, oh, you don't know, you ain't in a woman's body, shut the fuck up, nigga. You don't know my family, bitch-ass motherfucker. A lot of y'all not even having abortions while y'all talking. Y'all sitting there protecting one bitch having abortion and sacrificing that baby to bow, nigga. Tell that part. Tell that part about that middle-class bow sacrifice, sacrificial thing that they got to give in order to get a little chick to get nearby, bitch. Tell them about that. I want to talk about abortion so bad. Talk about the rapist, motherfucker. You the one fucking niggas that can't pull out, bitch. You the one can't take it up your ass because it's too tight and you too tender. You ain't built for this shit. You know what I'm saying? So stop lying, nigga, like all oh, women need a problem is abortion. No, it's not, man. I seen a bunch of regular women argue against abortion. So you ain't finna play that with me over here, motherfucker. It's always some middle class bitch problems that they try to put on everybody. And then some bisexual ass dude who like men and women sitting there want to argue with them. Boy, shut the fuck up. You in the closet, nigga. We only deal with people that's out the closet. We respect people that's out the closet, nigga. And if your black man ass sitting there trying to argue for the women and shit like that, we know you deeply in the closet. And I ain't talking about we can't arguing for the women. I'm talking about arguing on some weird, corny shit that's only middle-class problems, nigga. That's how I know you ain't from the hood. Y'all thought y'all was rich. You can't go in there with that billionaire's nigga. Shut the fuck up. 
You stuck in the middle like Pandora, nigga. You in the Pandora's box, bitch. Poor people can go up there with the billionaires, nigga. Stop playing with people. They don't fuck with y'all middle class ass people because they know y'all don't work hard. They know y'all spoiled as hell. They know y'all cheating on everything, bitch. Look at all these damn teachers and doctors. Half of y'all cheated on the test. Half of y'all didn't even take the damn test. And out here misdiagnosing people. People dying from cancer. But you said it was a cold, lame-ass motherfucker. That's some middle-class-ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Just keeping it real with their ass. They ain't gonna like it. And I don't give a damn. What the fuck they gonna do besides cry and try to tell on me like they been doing my whole life? I've been getting told on from every angle, bitch. I ain't even gotta do nothing to get told on. So y'all, y'all just rats. Y'all rats, you lame, you can't work as hard as us, bitch, you sell out, you sold your family out, you know what I'm saying? How the fuck we gonna compare, bitch? That's the real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't let me get started on these whack-ass rappers who can't even count, bitch, y'all can't even count bars. Shut the fuck up, your bars ain't saving nothing. Your kids looking at y'all like, damn, nigga, just shut the fuck up. And maybe people won't rob your ass and maybe you won't get another Rico fucking with a gang that's working with nothing but police, nigga. That's the real. You niggas police, you niggas handled as hell. You niggas telling on your homies like rats. You know what I'm saying? Then your homie can't even rob a real plug, nigga. Y'all niggas robbing middlemen. You know what I'm saying? That's the real. They come back with these halfway drugs. Boy, ain't nobody want no fake-ass perk. Ain't nobody want no fentanyl-ass weed, nigga. Who the fuck is y'all playing with, boy? Talking about you drilling. Boy, y'all up in there shooting children, boy. Y'all ain't shooting no grown men. Shut the fuck up. Y'all scared of these niggas. Y'all not even fighting by yourself. Nigga, call your hands out. You got to call 40 niggas to fight one nigga, you bitch-ass nigga. You niggas pussy as hell. The fuck is you talking about, boy? That's the real. You know what I'm saying? All these feminine ass boys out here. Boy, shut the fuck up, nigga. Go to prison since you're like men. <laughs> they know what to do with feminine ass boys up in there, bisexual ass dudes, all in everybody business. And I ain't talking about out the closet niggas. I'm talking about the ones in the closet trying to play straight and out here infecting other bitch ass women. Who claim they get dick and everything. If you getting dick, you know who's clean and who's not. And you'll fuck with a nigga that pull out, bitch. The fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't even fuck raw if you knew how to fuck, bitch. Up in there playing and shit. Stop playing. <laughs> Fucking halfway ass hoes. How the fuck you a halfway hoe? How the fuck y'all nigga halfway drillers? How the fuck y'all halfway gangsters, boy? Stop playing. Halfway drug dealers with fake ass weed, boy. <laughs> Sneaking fentanyl and everything because you know they're gonna find out this shit fake, fake ass drugs. You know what I'm saying? Lying ass motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And they think we're gonna believe they damn lies and their fears. Boy, shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody listening to y'all. Who the fuck told people that people are listening to y'all? That's how I know y'all handle. Them handlers lie to y'all. Y'all go believe that shit. Oh, they like y'all. They listening to y'all. Boy, they lying. Them motherfuckers lie. Them people don't fuck with y'all. Matter of fact, them people ready to smoke y'all ass. I don't know how many times I got to say that shit. But y'all scared. Y'all won't come to the neighborhoods because you know they'll smoke your ass. Stop playing. You got one, two fans up in there. Oh, I like them. Ain't nobody fuck with them. They ass slow as a motherfucker. They can't read. They ain't got no business, boy. They don't own nothing. That's why they like y'all. They don't own shit. They ain't trying to do shit what they like. But the people that's doing shit, got jobs, got companies and shit, ain't nobody worried about y'all. They not worried about y'all. Stop lying. You know what I'm saying? All that shit, this is the real. I don't know what the hell they been telling y'all. They been lying to y'all. This is the real, though. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my listeners. I know I got listeners around the world, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't need millions of streams to know I got listeners. Nah, I've been seeing them stats. I've been seeing the ratings. Thank y'all. 
you know what I'm saying? I thank all of y'all. I'm on the charts now. You know what I'm saying? Christian you know, podcast is on the charts, bitch. They're going to try to keep fighting it. I've been getting reported. Matter of fact, let me talk about getting reported. So I tried to go on live on my podcast Instagram, right? I got reported two times. And guess what it said? It said I was saying hate speech. I'm sitting there like, hold on. All that nasty shit the Democrats have said about the Republicans, you telling me I'm worse than them? Y'all done said all types of nasty ass shit about Republicans. But I'm the one saying hate speech. You see what I'm saying? That's how I know somebody in the industry is scared of me. They jealous as hell. And guess what? I don't care. Keep on reporting me, bitch. That's all you can do. You can't pull up to my house because I'll kill your motherfucking ass, bitch. So you better keep messing with my social media accounts. That's all you can do, bitch. Try to mess with my friends and family. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because once I feel like they compromise, I cut they bitch ass off, nigga, and find a new friend, nigga. Now what? Fuck with my family. You, you, if I feel like my family compromised, that, mem- that family member compromised, I'm going to cut they bitch ass out too. Now what, nigga? You ain't going to ever catch me, nigga. All they been doing is ratting on me, y'all. That's why I can't get in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I can't get in the streets because I've been getting ratted on by every motherfucker that I know. And that's sad. Y'all want me to believe y'all so real, bitch. You telling everybody what I'm doing all the fucking time, weird ass nigga. Lame ass nigga. Everywhere I go, a nigga ratting on me. Boy, I ain't, I ain't did shit, nigga. Oh, he looking at you funny. Boy, stop telling, bitch ass nigga. You a rat. Oh, he said that. He he wants you good. Like, damn. That's how I know y'all ass ain't real, boy. Y'all tell too much. Y'all y'all tell more than you actually put in work, nigga. How the fuck you gonna try to lie to me? You know what I'm saying? Them but rats and narcs and liars, bro. Y'all not, y'all not even the richest people in the world. Stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Then y'all lame as the motherfuck. Y'all so fucking lame in this bitch. Y'all so lame. We gotta come up with new cuss words on y'all ass. Lame as the motherfuck, man. What? Y'all not even working hard, bro. This shit so sad. And I had to go on break again because I put three months of work in since my last break, nigga. Every day I'm promoting. Every day I'm making shit. Every day. I'm doing something productive while y'all sitting there lying every day, sitting there wasting time. Boy, y'all ain't won no damn awards. Stop lying. Y'all ass barely getting nominated for shit. Stop lying, nigga. Whack ass motherfuckers. Driving cars that I wouldn't even touch, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. I don't want that damn car. I want Lambo, nigga. We not the same, bitch. <laughs> living in that damn regular-ass house. Y'all ass living in so-called mansions you can't afford. Y'all get a million-dollar mansion and got to foreclose that shit five years later. Nigga, I thought your career was paying. Stupid ass. You ain't making that much money, stupid ass. <laughs> Dumbass, you ain't making that much money, nigga. Stop lying. Y'all always fucking lying, bro. But it's cool. It's cool because nobody cares. If you ask the poor class, we don't care. If you ask the billionaires, they don't care either, nigga. So y'all stuck in the middle, not getting no love from nobody. And then try to add like... Y'all getting all everything. Stop lying, nigga. You got to steal shit. You got to scam shit, boy. They reporting y'all ass to the Better Business Bureau, nigga. You not sitting there winning shit. You ain't getting no accolades for your hard work, nigga. Like my people did. My people get accolades, nigga. My people get on the charts, nigga. Y'all ass 
ain't nowhere to be found. You got to cheat on your tests, motherfucker. Yeah, remember all that, y'all. You in the poor class, I know you remember that every every time you went to school and went to school with a motherfucker that thought they was rich, they was too dumb to pass them tests and needed somebody to do their homework and their tests. Yeah, we remember that shit. We just don't give a damn about y'all ass, and we looking at how you end up now and see that your ass still ain't shit. Matter of fact, you're looking worse than when you was in high school. At least y'all looked a little better in high school. Boy, y'all look so dried up and used up now. I'm wondering, damn, motherfucker, you might as well just sit there and get on drugs if you're not already on drugs, nigga. Or get your ass in the jail, motherfucker. Burn that damn fat off. <laughs> Tighten up your damn body, bitch ass motherfucker. Don't use no muscle milk. Don't use no supplements, no steroids. None of that, motherfucker. Do what you say you thought you did. It's supposed to be natural, motherfucker. But last time I checked, y'all on pills, y'all on muscle milk, y'all on steroids, y'all on other shit, y'all on boosters. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Bro, people can't afford all that. Mm-hmm. Bro, people can't afford all them supplements and all that other shit. Nah, we can't afford that, nigga. Broke bro niggas can't afford steroids. So if you know a big-ass muscular nigga right now, he a middle-class-ass junkie sitting there liking other men because everybody knows steroids make your dick little. That's why my dick is big as a motherfucker. My dick is huge. <laughs> my dick is big and natural, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And I'm slimming up. That's the better. That's the best part about crescendo. Crescendo put in so much work, I am finally seeing progress without the money, nigga. So it is definitely possible. It's definitely possible to get there without the money. You just got to sacrifice a lot of shit. You got to sacrifice going everywhere. You got to sacrifice having friends and sit there and dead lot focus on your damn self. But it's possible. I'm showing hella progress, man. I'm in the best shape of my motherfucking life, and I know this is not my peak. You know what I'm saying? Without weights. I ain't even got weights at the house. I can't afford to even buy my own weights, nigga, but I'm still good. You know what I'm saying? So if Crescendo can do it in the poor class, a lot of more poor class men can do it too. Don't believe these lying-ass, middle-class-ass, steroid-ass, junkie niggas. You take steroids, your dick gonna get little, nigga. Don't do that. If I go to the gym right now in some tights, you know what I'm saying? In my little tight workout tight shit, bitches gonna see my dick. The fuck is you talking about? They gonna see the dick before they see muscles, man. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, hey, pay attention to your job, bitch. You you gotta work out bad built ass refrigerator built bitch. <laughs> You the one sitting there got that baby post baby body bitch. You talking about abortion? Ain't nobody fucking you. Stop lying. They fucking your friend, bitch. That's who your nigga cheat on you for. Cheat on you for your friend, and she the one having an abortion. And he can't even pull out. So I don't know why you fucking a nigga that can't pull out, bitch. Why you can't take it in your damn ass? <laughs> why y'all ain't wearing condoms? Stupid ass motherfuckers trying to fit in with the broke class so bad. You ain't gonna never fit in with the broke class if you ain't from this shit, bitch. That's why the billionaires love us, nigga. Watch what I say. Watch the next couple years. It's gonna be a bunch of broke ass people. It's gonna be our broke ass coming up, surpass the middle class, straight to being billionaires. Watch what I say, man. I see it perfectly. I see it perfectly. They don't trust no middle class motherfuckers because y'all all all compromised. You're lazy as shit. You ain't about shit. You don't have shit. You surviving off somebody else's money, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Surviving off blackmail. Surviving off stealing and scamming. Boy, y'all ain't gonna ever make it in this motherfucker. So if y'all hear this, prison people, if the prison people hear this, a lot of y'all finna go free that's innocent. And they're going to replace y'all with the middle class people because they up in there robbing shit. They stealing. They lying. They think defamation is cool. You know what I'm saying? 
They think they can just defame people they don't like. So I'm like, yeah, they dumb as hell. They don't even know the law. How the hell y'all middle class don't know the damn law? Stupid ass monkeys. Even the mafia know law. But y'all too scared to mention the mafia. Y'all too scared to mention MS-13 with y'all pussy ass. Y'all too scared to mention any cartel in general, small or big, with y'all pussy ass. Because they know they got y'all blackmail and your parents blackmail, bitch. So you better act right, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Sitting there trying to mess with the poor class. No, nah, don't mess with the poor people. We've been through way too much to be sitting there still going through y'all weird ass shit. So now, where's the broke people sitting there trying to chill with the middle class? You don't see it no more, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And look at all these rappers trying to call people broke. You the one broke, you dumbass monkey. You can't even sit there and write a bar that saves your life, bitch. Every bar they put out, we like, yeah, you slowed in a motherfucker. Why the hell did you say that shit, dumbass bitch? You can't even afford a good-ass ghost rider, motherfucker. It's some, it's some middle-class bro, middle class ghost rider writing for y'all ass because the shit sucks, nigga. Stop playing. Sitting there writing the same shit over and over. Nigga, I know y'all fruity as hell. I know you in the closet. Sitting there playing with me and nigga. You a grown ass man every time you hop on a track talking about another man. Boy, you like boys. Shut up, nigga. And you got a nerd to be on there with women got baby mamas. No, that's bisexual, nigga. We, we know what that is. But the thing is, we got people out the closet. And I'm not talking about them. They so out the closet that we actually respect them. And then we laugh. Because they try to hit on us. And I'd be like, yeah, I know I look good, but nah, I don't go that way. You niggas, on the other hand, you try to, like, you getting all the holes in the world and then sitting there beefing real hard with a nigga that ain't never mentioned your bitch ass. Niggas that don't even mention your ass you beefing with. Stop playing. Stop motherfucking playing, boy. We got y'all by the nut sacks, nigga. I want you to jump. Jump your bitch. Fruity ass bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Show me your funky ass hoe. That bitch stank. I'm tired of smelling stank bitches on you niggas and you walking around proud as hell smelling like that. Boy, shut boy, go walk, go take a bath right now, nigga. Your bitch stank. <laughs> bitch smell like straight bacteria. Boy, are you happy for that nigga? Yes, I know you buy. You a bye bye, nigga. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> what instinct said? Bye 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 bye. Yeah, y'all bi as hell, nigga. Bisexual motherfucker. And they trying to act like this, nigga. No. You ain't about that shit, boy. You know what I'm saying? Tired of you niggas. Tired of you bitches, too. Bring out the real niggas. Bring out the real women. Bring out the women that know how to cook. You bitches can't even cook. Bring out the women that can cook, clean, iron clothes, fold clothes, taking care of their damn kids, cleaning up their house. If you if you, if you a bitch right now talking shit about any nigga, but you go to her house and her house is funky as hell, trash everywhere. Ignore the bitch. Ignore everything she gotta say. And I know that's middle class shit. Cause there's some broke bitches like that too, but nah, nah. If you from the broke shit for real, you know them black mamas beat them bitches ass to cook and clean. They condition these hoes to cook and clean if you in the broke class. So being dirty is a middle class thing. Yeah, we know. We fucking know. Y'all party the most. We wonder how the hell you're partying, but you're always calling out at your job. And when you are to your house, your shit dirty as hell. It's a nice house, but your shit dirty as hell. You got to get somebody to clean your dirty ass up, you pig. Pig pen ass rat. That's why your parents don't like y'all. Parents, middle class parents don't like their kids because they middle class as hell don't know how to take care of kids. Lying ass bitch. Cars dirty as hell. You're wrecking every car you get. <laughs> Stank when you have sex, y'all. Sex air stank. 
talking about you fucking. Ain't nobody want to smell y'all bacteria smelling ass. The fuck's wrong with y'all? And no, all sex don't smell like that. I remember a bitch trying to say that. Oh, it's supposed to smell like no the fuck it don't, bitch. I smell real good sex before I have sex. So stop playing with me. I don't fuck stanky bitches, okay? <laughs> and you niggas, y'all dick stank. Y'all musty as hell. Your balls musty as fuck. Trying to play with me, boy. Better not play with me, because I could break it down even worse. You think this bad right now? But we had 30 minutes in. You think that's bad just 30 minutes in? Oh, no, I can get a thousand times worse. Let's go to Hollywood. Let's go to Hollywood with these non-winning-ass actors who thought they was the shit. Who thought everybody's supposed to stop to see they ass. Who the bitches, who especially bitches. A lot of these Hollywood bitches thinking they so beautiful and fine. I got named 10 Instagram bitches that's a thousand times finer than your ass, bitch. With kids or without kids. Matter of fact, one bitch had four kids and she still look good. I still make her suck my dick. Swallow this dick, ho. When I look at you Hollywood bitches, I be like, oh my God, I don't know who lied to y'all ass and I don't know what the hell you did in the background. But it sure wasn't no dick. It sure wasn't no good dick, at least. You probably got a funky ass bisexual nigga and burnt your ass. Now you're sitting there guilty as hell. Don't know what to do. And it's showing on you. You know what I'm saying? Bitches should have been working. Thought y'all sitting there. Oh, they don't care about black women in Hollywood. Nah, you suck in Hollywood. Last time I heard, bitch. Even your sex game suck. Your pussy sucks. <laughs> We go to these niggas. All y'all trying to get on steroids and get huge as hell. That's why you're dick little. That's why bitches ain't even mentioning you niggas. <laughs> That's why porn stars win it. There's more porn stars got respect than a Hollywood actor in any era. You know what I'm saying? Even retired porn star. It's retired porn star women right now that I'm still thinking about. My bad, Daffodil, but you know I'm a man. It's retired porn star women right now that's still finding a motherfucker, nigga. So I'm like, they really actually fuck niggas for years and still look good. You bitches, you claim you fucking niggas for movies on casting counts. Y'all look dry than a motherfucker. Bitch, you ain't fuck no nigga. Stop lying. Stop lying. You probably you probably got humped on by a bisexual nigga, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop lying. You can see it on your face. You're a bunch of lies. Y'all can't win shit. You you getting directed that suck ass. These rappers, y'all hiding behind rappers that can't even read, nigga. These niggas retarded. These niggas mentally slow. You know what I'm saying? The reading is on an elementary motherfucking level. And you think we sitting here afraid of these motherfuckers? No, nigga. They ass work with the police. We ain't afraid of no nigga working with the police, boy. We just turn the other way and let you talk to the air. And if you get close, you get stabbed or shot or beat the fuck down, motherfucker. We said no. No means no, bitch ass nigga. Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Trying to force a conversation. Middle class always trying to force a conversation. Ain't nobody talking to y'all. This is the new trend for the broke people. Poor class people like us. If a middle class motherfucker, male or female, trying to force a conversation, don't say shit. Matter of fact, let them talk to the motherfucking there. Because they're going to get dried up and shut the fuck up like they usually do when ain't nobody talking to their ass. And then they get mad and they feelings and want people to ask what's wrong. Why you looking? Ain't nobody doing that shit no more. Lame ass bitch. Yeah, I'm giving the real. This is the real, actual, real shit. Not no damn virtue signaling, lying middle class problem. Now, nah, this is a real problem in America, nigga. You motherfuckers lame as hell. Been trying to compare our problems with middle class problems. It's not the same, nigga. That's why billionaires is getting richer every day. 
they laughing at y'all middle class ass. Yeah, they they used to try to make us. They used to try to make it seem like billionaires hated broke people. How? Oh, they got enough money to take care of everybody, nigga. I'm not even gonna take care of everybody, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? If I get a billion dollars right now, I am not taking care of no motherfucking everybody. Y'all ass don't need to get taken care of. I thought y'all work hard. I thought you don't want nobody to take care of you. I thought you don't want no handout. Now all of a sudden, billionaires need to hand out you money. No, double standard ass middle class shit. That's some middle class shit. I was trying to tell y'all. One minute you gotta work hard, you don't need no handout, don't take no handout. Next minute, billionaires got enough money to take care of everybody. Nah, we ain't finna play that game, bitch ass nigga. Which one do you want? Do you wanna get taken care of, or, or you don't want no fucking handout? Lying ass bitch. I knew y'all was liars. Y'all the punks. Y'all the snitches. Y'all the rats. Been telling on everything you see, bitch ass nigga. You, the motherfuckers, they so rats. You ain't even got to do a, a a crime on these bitch-ass motherfuckers. You ain't even got to do a crime on these motherfuckers, and they going to tell on you. You can just look at a nigga funny. They going to, oh, yeah, this nigga looking at you funny. You rat. Motherfucking narc-ass bitch. Lying about it, won't your ass. Lying-ass son of a bitch. Go back and tell them that like they always do. Tell them everything I'm saying. I'm going to tell you that in your motherfucking face, bitch ass hoe. <laughs> They're going to be like, damn, because shouldn't know you cussing like a motherfucker. I know. I was supposed to slow down on the cussing, but now nah, y'all make me mad. These motherfuckers frustrate me so bad, I lose my horniness. In order for me to get horny, I got to sit there and take a break. And not deal with y'all ass. And I, I actually, I'm lying. I get horny just randomly thinking about the daffodil lioness. When I think about the pair of jeans, the bottle of Monet, I get so horny. It just, it is like I got to calm down my horniness. But when I think about y'all, I get mad, frustrated, ready to choke, shoot, beat, <laughs> choke, shoot beat, stab, rob. I'm ready to do all that to y'all bitch ass, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I want to work with them. Fuck out my face before I catch a case. No music today, too. I don't know why they won't copyright my music no more on my, on my podcast. But they used to. Every time I play the beat, used to pop up on my podcast. So, uh, yeah, a lot of new things, a lot of changing up. Go buy my merch. Got my hoodie up. It is unisex for both male and females. And it comes in 12 different colors from small to double XL. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and it's just for America for now. You know what I'm saying? Till I can afford, till I can what it said till I upgrade my account. No, not upgrade till I till I uh till I add more designs to my account. I can only do one country per item at the moment. But I think I think I kinda upgraded yesterday. So if you live in the UK and you wanna and you wanna buy my merch, it will be available pretty soon. I just gotta wait on the owner to do their thing. But if you are in America, all 50 states, no matter what city, no matter what location, demographic, sexuality, race, whatever the fuck you are, gender, tall, short, it don't matter. We, I got the merch by my hoodie of Crescino Productions. Y'all know what the fuck's going on. Thirty two ninety nine plus tax shipping and handling. And then they got the Amazon Prime thing deal going on. If you buy something more than thirty five dollars, it's all free shipping for Amazon Prime members. So yes, I am sponsoring Amazon on my own time. You know what I'm saying? Because my merch is up and it's on my website. Just in case y'all can't find it, look on my websites, all my websites, and my social media accounts. It is everywhere. Go look it up. Go. Buy, you know what I'm saying? And y'all can buy as many as y'all want. Ain't no shortage. Or oh, it's just one jacket, two jackets available. Now nah, you can buy a hundred of them hoes if you want to. 
and I'll thank you and I'll kiss you if I could if you're a woman that bought a hundred jackets. You know what I'm saying? But do what you gotta do. It's my first merch, actual merch. And it's up right now. You know what I'm saying? So if I do an ad like that, that's because I made the shit. And I know damn third party company, oh, go buy this or this. Use my promo code. Nah, ain't no promo code, nigga. Fuck I look like. I ain't work with no third party as Wayne Company. Hell no. Nah. Amazon is a billion dollar corporation. If I'm gonna do business with any company, it's gonna be a billion dollar corporation, nigga. Stop playing with me, motherfucker. But back to what we talking about the real uh on this break too. I made two new beats. I might make two more, depending on what's going on. But I will be back on social media on November the 11th, which is next Monday. Um, Yeah, two brand new beats. Um, I like them. They're pretty cool. Um, I tried to drop a single, but I haven't heard back from my publisher. So hopefully that still comes through. And if it do come through, I got an album where that song is on. So I will be dropping an album pretty soon if that single goes through. You know what I'm saying? So get ready for that. I will update y'all on that. Um, Anything else? YPM TV is back up. Um, I'm going to be very careful on YPM TV because they reported that motherfucker like a motherfucking snitch-ass marks, snitch rat ass bitches. Yeah, we don't deal with snitches or narcs or rats. You know what I'm saying? We don't deal with they ass. Keep they ass and wherever the fuck they at before they get killed. Keep all rats away from me before they ass get smoked. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what the fuck they look like. It can be a huge rat. It can be a tall ass rat. But I don't deal with no rats. Fuck out my face. All y'all been doing is ratting on me anyway. Matt did that, or she knows that it is. Matt did, Matt said that, Matt did. And bitch, y'all rats. Rats. Turn it like you gangster. Y'all ain't no fucking gangster. Y'all work with the police. Police ass niggas. Police ass bitches. You can tell a bitch where the police about pussy stink. <laughs> Fuck cat stink. Smell like bacteria. She snitching. That's some snitch pussy. I don't fuck with snitch hoes. No snitch hoes. Fuck out of here. Matter of fact, a bitch tried to call me when it was a couple of days ago, talking about she want to suck me off. I know you do, bitch, but no, nah, you scared. You acting like you, you acting like I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm dangerous, boy. If y'all keep acting like that. I'm gonna really show y'all who the fuck dangerous, nigga. Stop playing with me. I just don't want you, bitch. You must don't hear what I'm saying about the death deal lions, nigga. You must don't hear what I'm saying about that bottle of Monet. I want her, okay? I want her to call me and play with her pussy on the phone. I want to hear that. <laughs> and some moaning and shit. I want to hear that. And then I go up there, wherever she at, wherever she want to meet up at, and I'm going to lick on that motherfucking clit. I'm going to suck on that motherfucking clit and... And she going, oh, oh, and I'm going, and then I'm going to go in, you know what I'm saying, do my thing, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about, bitch? I don't deal with no virtue signal hoes. You virtue signaling that you want to suck my dick. Boy, y'all ass so lame. Bitch is so lame. She must thought I wouldn't get nothing, bitch. If I tell you about my history, you owe me a fee. And I told her that, too. You owe me a fee, bitch. My exes look better than you bitches. What the fuck is you talking about? And I left them. So I'm playing with me. If my ex look better than the bitch trying to get with me, I'm going to handle your ass and you owe me a fee, ho. Stop playing with me. And if you ain't got more money than her, this lady that I'm in love with, or you ain't got nothing compared to her, I- I'm going to block you. <laughs> I'm going to block your ass. Stop playing. Bitch, playing with me. I'm the wrong nigga to play with. You know what I'm saying? 
better walk around. I ain't begging for y'all conversation. I ain't begging for your acquaintance. I ain't sitting there, oh, y'all do come fuck with me. Nah, matter of fact, don't fuck with me, nigga. Keep walking by. Keep going over there. Fuck with the neighbors. Don't fuck with me. I'm too hot. My blood, my blood be boiling. Don't fuck with me. I look good. My dick big. I'm frustrated. Thinking about this woman all day, every second of the hour. Don't fuck with me at this point. If I wasn't in love, maybe y'all could come by and speak and all that. No, this is the wrong time to fuck with Crescendo. I'm in love for real, nigga. And I will split a bitch nigga's wig so open, bitch. And I'll keep splitting. I'm like, nigga, ain't nothing there. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, don't fuck with me at this point, nigga. No. I am on high alert level, nigga. And I got this merch out. Yeah, come play. Come pl- Matter of fact, come play with me so I can go viral. Yeah, come play with me so I get some merch sales. Come on. Let the let the internet know I'm dropping ops. Come bring your bitch ass and you better not be 40 niggas deep because some of them, the neighbors going to call the police. There's 40 niggas with guns out here. So you better come right, bitch. You better just be two niggas. And I'm going to drop two niggas. Then the fans gonna really buy my merch Cause they know I'm really about the fucking action If you send another funky ass stank bitch over here I'm a recorder And I'll be like look at this stank ass bitch Internet chat Chat Check this thing <laughs> Hey chat Look at this stank ass bitch Thought she had a, a chance with me thought, thought I was supposed to be talking to her Bitch who the fuck you think you playing with Ho I'll the beat your mother Ooh I'll to beat your motherfucking ass, bitch. Playing with me like that. <laughs> yeah. This ain't no podcast, nigga. Go tell them about me, nigga. The hood is here, motherfucker. Ain't nobody lying. Ain't nobody playing like these middle class ass, nigga. Your parents had good jobs, bitch. You weren't even broke. Y'all had all the clothes, you had all the shoes, y'all had cars, you had parties, you had food, you had everything you fucking need and out here trying to like you hard as a motherfucker. Niggas, shut the fuck up. Y'all niggas ain't no type of hood. You niggas rats. You niggas telling on niggas. You niggas fucking stanky bitches. Boy, y'all fuck so many stanky bitches, I'm sitting there like, nigga, they don't even count. (laughs) <laughs> you supposed to smell good. You supposed to smell like cologne, nigga. You're supposed to smell like soap. You ain't supposed to smell like no funky stank bitch. Okay. <laughs> keeping it real. I'm keeping that real. I can't even come around smelling musty. You tell me you didn't come around smell like bacteria ass pussy. Oh no, not even a good pussy. You can't even smell like good pussy, bro. Stop playing with me, nigga. You can't even get a good bitch. Bitches play with they cat because of me, bitch. And it's way before anything for y'all. Boy, you don't know what she doing. I ain't talking about her. I'm talking about years ago, nigga. Damn near 10 fucking years ago, bitch ass niggas. Thought y'all knew me. Thought y'all knew Crescendo. Bitches been playing with they pussy when they see me, nigga. Stop playing. And I hear shit. Stop playing with me like I'm y'all. You the one had to fuck your homie girl, nigga. If y'all fucked, I think that's a lie, too. You the one had to chase behind your cousins, bitch. Stop lying, nigga. You the one sitting there fucking with this funky pussy-having bitch who can't cook, clean, bathe herself, and got no soap, got a bed for rent money. Stop playing like we the same, nigga. Sitting there fucking for rent money, bitch. You need to be fucking for soap. That's why they ain't fucking y'all no more. They like, nah, I ain't gonna bring that smell home to my wife. She gonna know for sure something's wrong. <laughs> the hell is that damn smell? You want how much for rent, bitch? Your rent ain't even that much. Need to buy some soap. Matter of fact, don't even pay them rent. Don't pay them money. You gotta fuck a bitch for money? No. If she, you, you judge off her smell. If she stank, buy her some soap. Be like, here go 40 bars of soap, bitch. Use that. And antibacterial soap. We got soap. We got, I ain't, no, no Victoria's Secret for you. No Victoria's Secret for a stanky bitch. Because that's really going to be stank. You try to mix Victoria's Secret with bad smelling pussy, that's going to be really bad. Don't do that. Victoria's Secret is for clean women only. 
You know what I'm saying? Good pussy bitches. That's what Victoria's Secret for. Chanel. Chanel for good pussy bitches. Bad bitches, too. And you better not buy no ugly bitch, no Chanel. You gonna get your ass choked out if you do that shit. Ugly bitches don't deserve no Chanel. Funky bitches don't deserve no Victoria's Secret, nigga. Yeah, we laying the law down, nigga. I don't know what the fuck kind of niggas y'all thought these bisexual niggas was. Was now you niggas, <laughs> niggas ain't on shit. Lying ass niggas. I got you, baby. Come to real dead. Been there, done that. For you niggas had a name. You niggas won't even get talked about when these bitches was fucking with me. Still fuck with me. Scratch that. I ain't just say that, okay? <laughs> I ain't even gonna talk about this year because I'm trying to keep it discreet. I only like, I only love one woman who ain't talked to me yet. So the other bitches, I don't know them. They trying to get involved and all that shit. I don't fuck with them hoes. Fuck out my face. This is the real. The real, actual real. Not no damn lying, bisexual, trying to put one nigga on a pedestal. No, that's some Joe Budden ass shit. That's some DJ Vlad ass shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't deal with these niggas. Lame ass niggas. That's some Charlemagne the God ass shit. I want to knock that pussy ass nigga out. Charlemagne, if you hearing this, I'm going to knock your bitch ass out. Because you such a pussy ass bitch that I know you work with the police, boy. At first, I used to don't like DJ Envy. But you know what? DJ Envy, yeah, you scamming niggas, but you cool as hell. I ain't going to lie. I actually talked to DJ Envy. No, nah, Charlemagne, I'll knock your bitch ass out, boy. I'll, I'll, I'll break your motherfucking jaw, nigga. And I won't even gonna name drop a nigga on these episodes. I won't even gonna name drop no more niggas on my episodes, nigga. But no, nah, I want to knock out so many pussy ass niggas. I don't care if you got muscles. I don't care if you got 40 bitches around you, nigga. I'm going to still knock your bitch ass out. And if you got security, we going to drug your securities up, nigga, like P. Diddy did, boy. They gonna think it's a bottle of water. Now it's a bottle of PCP, bitch. Fuck is you playing with? And I said PCP, cause I ain't gonna say the real drug we gonna use. But yeah, we gonna do that, nigga. Shake their hand. It's that laced baby oil, nigga. Fuck is you playing with? <laughs> yeah, we scaring they ass. Yeah, we gonna reveal all vulnerabilities, nigga. Nah, you should've been tightening up your shit. Sitting there talking about the poor class. Nah, we gonna talk about y'all ass. Your security's weak as fuck. They ass lame as fuck too. They human so they can die, nigga. You put fentanyl on they shit, they dead. Now what? You ain't got no security. Your money weak as hell. Y'all done told me they lawsuits, bitch. You gotta pay it off monthly. Nah, I thought you had money, bitch. Don't pay no monthly lawsuit settlement. Nah, bro. Spend cash, bitch ass nigga. You broke ass motherfuckers sitting there gotta pay quarterly on a settlement. Now, nah, motherfucker, you broke. Lying ass companies. <laughs> oh, just to save you money. Nigga, I want all my money right now, bitch. Stop playing. You ain't got the money. You lied like you was getting it. You ain't getting that shit. Ain't nobody buying y'all products, bitch. It's a dummy corp. It's a dummy corporation, bitch ass motherfucker. Oh, yeah. So we going, I'm going to go ahead and end this shit. It's been fun. It's been real. This is the real episode 44. The real is your boy 007 Crescendo of the Crescendo Productions, creator of YPM TV. Go check me out. Make sure you put the underscore under the after the TV, YPM TV underscore. Got our merch out, my first ever merch. It is out right now. Go buy that shit on Amazon. $32.99 plus tax. You know what I'm saying? Go buy that shit. Uh what else? Uh yeah, I was gonna promo a lot of y'all shit, but nah, fuck y'all. I'm promoing me and only me from now on because I realize 
A lot of people don't deserve promo. A lot of people suck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of y'all, a lot, uh, um, uh, what else I was going to say? Yeah, even niggas from my city. I ain't even gonna promote niggas from my own city, nigga. Fuck y'all. Y'all ain't saying my name ever. Y'all ain't never said my fucking name, so why the fuck would I ever say y'all damn name? I used to be like, oh, such and such and this and that. Nah, no, fuck y'all. You niggas bitches. You nigga, the, 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 the fucking, I, I, Louisiana ain't even talking about y'all, so I, nah, I'm definitely not talking about y'all. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? <laughs> yeah, tell them they by my city. We need to go fuck with such to now. So such, such ain't never named me. Such such ain't never reached out for a beat. Knowing damn well I ain't gonna overcharge. Knowing damn well I can mix master and produce right in front of their fucking face. Knowing damn well Warner Brothers reached out multiple times, bitch ass nigga. And I don't even know who reached out to y'all ass because y'all said y'all suck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now I am not promoting nothing else, nigga. Just straight my shit. That's how we doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, man. Feeling good. Today is Thursday. What date, though? It is November the 7th. I ain't going to be back till November 11th, which is next Monday. Join this break. Uh. My email is crescendo at iCloud.com. Just in case anybody want to reach out, ask some questions and anything. I got y'all, you know what I'm saying? Just let me know. Uh, yeah. The real, man. This is the real. I ain't going to like it. I don't give a motherfucker what they like. You know what I'm saying? Can I talk about something else before I go? Because I'm trying to make it to an hour. It's about 50-something minutes. Uh... What else can I talk about before we go? Fuck the presidential shit. I ain't no politician. Uh, and I'm not mad either. I'm actually laughing that the nigga won. Ha ha, bitch. Y'all thought y'all ran shit. Anybody listen to y'all? Anybody give a damn about y'all? I don't know the fuck lied to y'all. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else, though? Is there anything else I can talk about before I go, y'all? I think I covered everything. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The real, you know what I'm saying? So, guess I'll freestyle, kill some time. No, nah, I don't feel like freestyling. Nigga. I don't feel like freestyling. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, what else, though? It, it should be something. Let me just look up some shit. Kill some time. Um, Yeah, man, hope y'all doing great. I hope the real is doing great. Uh, poor class, I got a message for us. Billionaires gonna be choosing us, man. So y'all better get ready. Get your product ready. You know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do. But they is looking. They are looking. You know what I'm saying? They not fucking with the middle class no more. The motherfuckers don't know how to do shit. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what's going on. Damn, 50 Cent pay the camera in his butt. Oh, I knew you was... Motherfucking in the closet, fifty cent. Yo ass bisexual. You let niggas kiss on you. You sitting there holding niggas. Told y'all about fifty cent, bro. He be saying all that because he in the closet. Yeah, we know. We know, bro. We know. That's why billionaires ain't choosing your ass either, bro. They like, nah, fifty might sleep with us. <laughs> if fifty might sleep with the men, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I thought you was straight, gang. Ain't that sad. I thought 50 Cent was straight, bro. Let me read that article, though. Let me see what Dame talking about. <laughs> Dame Dash. It says, Dame Dash trolls 50 Cent for patting camera on the butt. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that makes sense, huh? And camera, you let that nigga do that to you, camera? Thought you was gangster, bro. Pause. Super pause, bro. Y'all smacking each other on the booty now? Oh my god. No pat pat. 
This nigga said no pet pet. Oh shit. No pet pet. Oh damn it. Ooh wee. Okay. The Pet Pet Club. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. The Pet Pet Club, man. Yeah, let me get out of here. That was just it. That was it. I'm done, bro. 50. Uh, uh, I guess you got the real power, huh? You got the male booty power, huh? Yeah. You won't see me working with 50 ever then, nigga. I was actually going to give you a chance if the money was right. But now I see you like men's, bro. You like men's. Just go ahead and come out and say that shit. Otherwise, I don't know why you flipping out on niggas that ain't never mentioned your ass. But you know, that's how bisexual niggas do. They sitting there picking at niggas. Bitch, you ain't a female. Or are you? Are you a female in a male's body? 50? And the other you bird man, all you niggas, I'm I'm calling out all you niggas every time, boy. I ain't scared like these other bitch ass pussy niggas, rat ass niggas. Oh, they did a lot for the community, nigga. They ain't did shit for your ass, and they still ain't doing shit for you now, lying ass nigga. You just want to hump on him. You want him to hump on you, nigga. Stop lying. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna say all y'all names. Fuck you, niggas. You niggas rats. You niggas work with the FBI. You niggas assets to the FBI. Stop playing. So if anybody hear this, the little niggas, anybody in the neighborhood, stop believing these damn celebrities. These niggas don't run shit. These niggas work with the government. They work with the feds. Get handled. And, and they bisexual. They ain't fucking hoes like they talking about. They always talking about they fucking bitches. Anybody, any nigga that got to come around here talking about they fucking bitches, boy, you getting done in your ass. Stop lying. Ain't no regular man going around talking about that shit like that. We know you getting done in your ass. You ain't got to lie, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I want you to get mad. I'm at the point I want you to get mad. I got my strap. Get mad, bitch. Watch how I blow your brain out, nigga. All because you the one in the closet. Yeah, keep playing. And we going to see you pull out a big-ass gun. We going to see a big-ass AR that you can't break down. Yeah, we gonna see that shit get pulled out and still blow your shit out and steal your gun and your car. <laughs> yeah, y'all playing with the wrong niggas. We trained for this shit. Y'all live for this shit. That's a big difference. But I'm out this bitch. Love y'all. Crescendo. Double seven Crescendo. Go buy my merch. It is on Amazon. It's on all my links. 12 colors, you know what I'm saying? From small to extra large. But I'm out this bitch.